Welcome back, Magic Grid Wanderers. It's me, Lula, and me, Janine, and and today we are going back into Rome. Talking to the moon. So, yesterday we tried to go into Rome to go to the catacombs and the Aventine Key, um, keyhole, and it didn't work. So, I didn't want to just throw the footage away. Here's how it didn't work. So today we are going back into Rome and we are going to take you around a different way in Rome than what we went the other day. <coughs> we are going to take you to a secret place called the Aventine Keyhole and we walk through the orangeries and then you get the most magnificent views. After that we're then going to go over to St Peter's Basilica. We are not going in the Vatican because we don't do that um, but we have even got a shawl for Luna's shoulders today. Hopefully no getting turned away at St Peter's Basilica. Yes. We haven't done an outfit check for so long. That's a bit we keep check. forgetting to do them. Outfit check. Luna is wearing a very floaty lolly ice dress today. I think it might be from Monsoon with some sunglasses. Let's not look at the dirty trainers, but we need to be comfortable on a walk. Me, and lovely little earrings. I am finally wearing my lemon dress. And this was from Asda George. Hey, and it's all you ruffly. could have worn it at Chico Terrace since we didn't do the hike. With my little yellow pumps and now I've been dying to wear this dress but it's either been too hot or we've been doing activities where it wouldn't be appropriate whether today is the day whether it's gonna be appropriate who knows but I'm running out of clothes so I have to wear it look at the beautiful wild gardens and poppies and crazy traffic so today we bought a like a 24 hour ticket it was seven euros each remember that over 10 it under 10 are free but over 10s have to pay so seven euros each and you can use it on the buses and the metros all day i don't know if i've made the right decision because when we done it the other day and we just got like one bus one metro and then one bus and one metro home it was six euros so if you're gonna do that and stay within a walking distance of the colossio um then it will cost you only six euros but today because we're going a little bit further out we might use some more metros so it could be worth it it could not let you know later so we got off the bus at era fermi because the metro is running today when there's a little cafe there we thought we'll run in get our drinks and a little snack there now but they only took cash so now we're on a little wild goose chase looking for a cash machine because i've run out of cash hmm. That was pretty painless. We found it okay, so we're going to go back to the metro station. We've just been having a chat about going to some catacombs on the outskirts of the city first while the weather's so hot. Doing that and staying cool. This way, babe. And then, um, wow, look at the street art. And then going up to the Aventine Keyhole a little bit later in the day as it gets cooler. I got some tomatoes and some verde vegetables. And then I got mozzarella and cheese. It's nice. And it costs eight euros for two sandwiches and two drinks. Argon. We we thought that we'd get the train, the metro to Termini and then we'd be able to get to the catacombs easier from here. But it's actually sending us back to the Colosseo. <laughs> So we're doing an around about, aren't we? Termini train station is incredible. It's huge. It's got loads of boss little shops. Oh. Opticians, <laughs> Foot Locker, Juice Bar. Yeah, and this is all in Termini train station. This way. Is it this way? Yeah, this way we came. These, um, the colours tell you which line you need to be on. So it's pretty easy to get a map of the complete underground of uh, Rome and it'll you'll be able to see what colours the lines are and then what train line you need to get onto, metro line even. Lorenzina, Colossio. Hi. 
out of the Colossus station and it's right there again. So to get the 118 to the catacombs outside of the city, you have to walk around this side of the Colosseo and then the Roman Forum on your right. We will find it. This is the Arco de Tito as part of the Forum. And then up here you have the Palantine Hill. Palantino. And around here, please be some bus stops. <laughs> it feels hotter today, but it feels less busy today, which is good. No grazie. So that didn't work out. Um, we waited at the bus stop for nearly an hour for the 118. And it's incredibly hot and we just can't wait no more. Oh my gosh, okay, so slight change again. Yeah. We can't keep walking in room, it's 33 degrees. Um the bit that we were gonna go to is all like open and shade stuff. Then we started feeling really sick and quite like sad. So we're gonna go back and go to the pool. We're gonna come in tomorrow morning really early. That we miss this midday heat because coming in midday heat is not good. Getting on our train back to Aerofermi. So, yeah. so, this is a little bit like a robot. Yeah. So, yeah, that was sort of. That was yesterday. We ended up going back to the pool, having tea in our caravan. Luna went to the disco. I read my book and watched hard stuff. So we're now getting back on the bus to go into Rome and attempt it today. Except this morning, it's 9 a.m. and it's a lot cooler so far. Um, hopefully, we're going to miss that midday heat. Uh, yeah, let's see if we manage it today. So today, here's Hannah. I've got my free to Carlo dress on, and I mean business. Oh, Carlo? Yeah. I mean business today. We have to get. We have to go and see these things. We got off a stop early at Cerco Massimo, rather than the Colosseo. <gasps> yes, we're here. I know where we are. So yesterday, we. We were stood at the bus stop right, right, right down there, low on that road. And we would have walked around here. Yes, I know where I am. So this is Circo Maxima. Or as in Italian, it's Cerqua Massimo. This is where they would have done the chariot racing. And there's the Palantino, some ruins. It's nice views from over here. And then the Colosseo is like over that way. I'm gonna walk this way. The orange gardens are over to our left. <laughs> is it awful? I remember us spending about half an hour on this monument, on this statue. It was really cool, we were hot. Luna had a little Roma book with her. We just sat and just read together. And I have some beautiful photos, do you remember? Yeah. I have gorgeous photos over here. <coughs> Luna's just said, have you got a book in your bag we can recreate? No, I haven't. Come on then, love, should we go towards our... Which way are we going? Take that way. Mm -hmm. I've actually never said Isn't that amazing? Look at them. That is phenomenal. Just to the right of that monument, we walk through these. Like I think it's like Rose Gardens first, and then you get up to the Orange Gardens. You bet your old stuff's open now. Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> Guess who's whinging again? <laughs> you were nearly crying too. I love that song by Andrea Pacelli, Time to Say Goodbye. It makes me cry every time. And that woman, oh my God. Can you still hear her? Yeah. I could have literally stood there for ages listening to her. But there was like a camera crew like next to her. I think it's doing like a news thing and they were like laughing and I was like, <gasps> Luna was just like, you're in the moment. <laughs> right. And we continue. So through these gates, I am sure that there is an orange garden up here. I, I feel like I haven't made that up in my head. So you keep walking up and I remember this being quite a big walk, you know, Lou. Really? Yeah. And there's a church. There's like a few different churches up here. I can still hear the violin lady. <laughs> I think these are them. I, I think, think these this are them. Familiar. And I think that we found one orange last time in this <laughs> orange garden. <laughs> Let's go and have a look. Oh my gosh, yes, this is definitely it. I knew I hadn't made this place up. Stop it from border. Such a cute little off the beaten track place. Gorgeous fountain. <laughs> it's running so free. <gasps> it's the wolf. It's the she wolf. Oh, yeah, that you put your hand in it and you get on it snaps out. No. I thought that was that one. No, she's the she wolf who had Romulus and Remus. They don't have to bother somewhere, though. Come on, let's go see this, Lou. And then just over. The river in Rome. Is it the Arno or the Tiber? I get confused with the rivers in each, in each city. Oh gosh, there's more music up here. Don't cry. Don't cry, Lou. Mmm. No St. Peter's? You can't really see the river much behind the trees. It's pretty, isn't it? The colours are always better when they're zoomed. Smileys. It's still quite early in the morning. We're going to sit and have a drink and I've ordered a piece she from the shop this morning. You will, I'm not hungry. Are you not having yours? I love you, Lum. Love you too. <laughs> <laughs> it's so peaceful coming up here. I think this is exactly the feeling that we remembered last time was being in the center of Rome felt chaotic and heavy. And so being on the outside, <laughs> being on the outskirts, like up in these places, oh, it's just delightful. It's gorgeous, isn't it, babe? I'm gonna continue up our little hill, our little windy road. Abra la puerta. Imagine getting a bath in that. Wow. And then some Vespers. This is Basilica Santa Sabina al Aventino. I hope I said that right. There's a few churches up on this hill. Three, if I remember rightly. Maybe don't have to cover my shoulders, so. I've got you a scarf if we need one. I remember the marble in here. Look at the colours of, oh. The colours are insane. I prefer these small churches to like big massive ones, do you? The marble is so cool.
and we continue up the hill beautiful this is another basilica this is uh, Santa Alessio 23 it's my number looks like this um, this top church is closed off you can see the queues come on can't you Ah, no, it's still open to the left. So these are called, I think it's called the Maltese Gardens. And they're owned by Malta. Um, so it says that you can be in Rome looking at Malta. And then when you look through the keyhole, you're actually looking at St. Peter's Basilica. And um, so it's like the Vatican. So it says you can be in three countries at once here. I'll let you know how quick the queue goes down. Oasis. What oasis? It's a band from Manchester. I do not know it. I don't know, you could see the button. It's our turn. Now let's see if we can do this. Can you see that? So you can see it going through the Maltese Gardens and then, don't know if we can zoom. Oh, oh nearly, almost. Nearly, it's the light, it's beautiful. I wish you could see what we can What did you think? I thought it's actually really pretty. Isn't it so cool? Like, I have to say, the music that is following us around today is giving us this peaceful, happy vibe. Everywhere we seem to be moving, there's someone playing music and it doesn't half add to the, um, I guess, the chilled feelings of peace and happiness that we have today. We've walked back down to where the rose gardens are and we're just going to take this, like, little left. And we think that this takes us down by the river and the river it's the river tiber the river arno is in florence i keep getting confused but yeah this is, takes us down by the river and we're not sure if we're going to walk to st peter's basilica or whether we're going to get the metro no we're not going to get the metro now but we're either going to walk or get the bus and the bus is number 23 <laughs> I think we're going to attempt to just walk along and see. This over here, it's a Piazza della de, 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 de Veritas. It's that, um, have you seen the image where it's like a mouth in the wall and you put your hand in and you ask it a question and it, or you tell it something and if it's lying, it snaps down on you. Well, that's in there. <laughs> I put my hand in it, it snapped on me. I could have walked okay. <laughs> So now we're not back at the Colosseum. This is an amphitheatre, so this is a half of one around here. It's pretty cool. Look at the fresco just there. It's beautiful. Luna Garfra, Fruity di Bosco and Limone again. I didn't get one. I feel a little bit too hot. For the ice cream, that sounds strange. I want like a, I want lolly. like a lolly ice, yeah. San, San Giovanni or, uh, yeah, San Giovanni. I'm not gonna go right in, but you should feel the cool coming well, from here. Oh, a little bit of respite, that's beautiful. Bye, Luna. <laughs> We've just walked down this little street. 
streets again. <laughs> like a little unknown one. We're trying to stay. Oh, look, there's more water. Do you need more water? Um, yeah, I'll got some. On. Yeah, we're trying to stay. I'll track a bit. Near the water, but we know which direction we're going in. So if we bimble that way, then we'll at least. Oh, how oh, pretty is that? Oh, that's adorable. Yeah, I think. Wow. Oh my gosh. I hope we can get through here. Oh my gosh. We just walked out into into like proper ruins with all these arches and the size of those pillars. Oh, you just come out onto this little street. There's a kosher restaurant, Bella Carne. No, now the prices down here are re like quite reasonable. I think it's because what, like, we're not by any of the main main sightings. Yeah, we think this could be like a Jewish quarter of Rome because uh, there's lots of kosher restaurants. Uh, there's some people wearing their Jewish hats. It's busy. It's pretty. It's old. Luna has convinced me to come into this. Um, burger joint. It's a burger joint. That's it how it feels. Really yeah. Cool. It's obviously Italian. Um, it does look really cool. It's quite arty. Cocktails. Cool. Some art. This place is like. Um, it's like all organic and homemade stuff. You don't have no commercial drinks. So we've just ordered like a cola. cola. Which looks red. Yeah. And then, and like an apple and ginger. We thought that they were chips, but they're like crisps and they've got like sauce and paprika. It's just kind of chocolate. Luna got a chicken burger with bacon and cheese. She's picking all the greens off. And I got a beef burger. This is called Singing in the Rain with prosciutto, onions, cheese, and I think peppers. And Tabasco tomato sauce, it looks good. Yeah, so this is the place that looks so inconspicuous outside. Let me tell you, that was the best burger I have ever had in my life. Oh, we need water. Do we need water? Yeah, yeah while Luna gets the burger. It, while Luna gets the water. <laughs> it wasn't the cheapest, it was 38 euros for two burgers, two small drinks, and some like crisps, potato crisps things. But it was all so natural and so fresh, even the tomato sauce was like homemade. We are continuing our journey with the Tiber to our left somewhere on our way up to St. Peter's Basilica. It's so big. That one's for you, Claire. <laughs> we just found this piece of street art with her specs over it. And the tag says Miss Van or Miss Tan. I think it's Miss Van. Yeah, it's Van. Um, we don't know who it is, but it must be um like an accomplished like street artist because it's got perspex over it and that's what they do you always like oh look at them wow that's actually quite cool. oh look at that one as well dorothy circus gallery that looks beautiful it's closed for coach. siesta. We could probably could do just a bunch of other series as of. That would never get finished either. Me and you could probably just do like touring yeah. the world, just doing street art tours in every but city. We would never we? get finished. We'd never do a part three. You should have plexiglass. Woof. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. That'll be a car. We decided not to cross over the bridge just yet. We're going to carry on walking on the right side of the river until we get a little bit further up here 
mainly because that arch looks my oh i feel like i'm gonna walk through that arch and it's gonna be like take me into a portal where of like a fairy again? garden oh look at that i forgot where we're going Actually, did. Luna, I've told you 20 million times we're going to St. Peter's Basilica. Ah, uh, yeah, I didn't. Probably because she should have just talked about Trump. So we don't go. So St. Peter's Basilica is next to the Vatican. We don't go in the Vatican. We don't like the money in the Vatican. We don't want to take Luna in the Vatican. Vatican. Um, so we don't go in there, but we do really like the feel of St. Pe St. Peter's Basilica. And I like St. Peter. He's like a little granddad. Oh, look at them. Oh, little pingus. So beautiful. Look at the these ones. I'm in love with this arch. So since we passed through that arch, this street is like an art street. There's art galleries, there's a little um, uh, contemporary art university, Dante University. Art, art there's like loads of little nooks and crannies, but they're all short because it's yeah. siesta time. Could do. And this looks like some the more theatre as well. Oh, it's the same one. Is it? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Real life room. Just if you come to Rome, just do it. It's a very dirty place. <laughs> yeah, it's filthy. <laughs> There's all of these like scan things, so we've just scanned it. There's a song on Spotify. <laughs> I love that. This is my favourite way to do Rome. Randomly. Random. Back streets, no semi plan. And that's it, yeah. Well, you don't even know where you are. No. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, we're still, still on Via Julia. It's a long road. Let's stop on these steps and get our Google Maps out, maybe. Just to make sure we're still somewhere by the river. So, we bought a drink this morning and then we've just been filling it in the, fountain, the free fountains, and it is so nice. Like some waters in the on the caravan site, they've been quite hard, and we've had to boil them, boil the water and let it cool before we could drink it. But this is yummy water. Yum, yum. Yum. So I think this bridge is Ponte Emmanuel II. We're gonna go to our this way, Luna. Are you okay? Yes. <laughs> We're gonna go this way. Just behind these trees is Castel Sant'Angelo. So Castel Sant'Angelo is the one that's in the movie The Da Vinci Code. In the nighttime, it's all lit up and it's so beautiful. It's like a deep sage green and I think it's from the algae that lives in there. But it's not like a crystal clear, blue, pretty thing. Ponte Sant'Angelo. It's pretty. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. There's the top of St. Peter's there. Really? Mm hmm. Wow, it's really impressive. There's six floors in Castel Sant'Angelo. Um, it's sometimes the Pope's little visit and place, the museum. It does look really, really cool. But Luna refuses to go in places because she gets bored really, really quickly. So we have to be a bit autism. <laughs> we have to be quite picky with where we're going to go in. So today we're going to go into St. Peter's Basilica and that's the place. So we can't go in two. One day, one day we'll go in.
They have beautiful gardens at the back of the castle, which you can go in for free. And we have been in there when we came in 2019, just for two days. They're really nice to just walk around, though, the statues. And this straight ahead of us is obviously St. Peter's Basilica. It's quite a surreal feeling, like walking in the center of this road up towards St. Peter's. Is that your prized possession right now? Yeah. <laughs> so it is like- we know how to get the water. <laughs> it's cloudy today. Um, the sun isn't like out big and strong, but it is extremely hot. It's still 33 degrees. It's very close and humid. Luna said it feels like there's no air. <laughs> hmm. That's where the Vatican is, it's through that way. Just to the right of St. Peter's. You can usually see some of the Swiss guards in their uniform. It looks a little bit like a jester. It's quite cool. But can't see any around. Might be too hot for them. Okay, so that's the back of the line and it goes all the way around this way. Oh my god. I am waiting in that. All that way. Absolutely not. All the way around. Yay. To go up there. No. Oh no. I know, I, I hear you love, I hear you. Four there, so we're basically getting. <laughs> it's so not nice. This will be the third time that we've been here and not been inside. Are you sure you don't want to wait in the queue? Absolutely. <laughs> it's too hot to make her. It's too hot. The bells. Is that nice by the water? Yeah. Nice with the but not the closer but the best I've got right now, so. We left. <laughs> it was basically too hot again, again, yeah. again. So at St. Peter's Basilica, we found the nearest metro, which was I can't remember the name. Um, we found it anyway, it's close by. We got the metro to Termini, then from Termini, we got the Laurentina line back to Erefermi. Now we're going to go with the bus, hopefully in the shade, that's not going to take forever. And then we're going to the pool, <gasps> the amazing pool with some front. Yeah, and we've just bumped into Luna's friends on the train, which is lovely. So, <laughs> sent out loads of love, as always. Stay awesome, stay wild, love yourself, don't let anyone change you. Bye, 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 magic moon wanderers. Bye. Ciao. Ciao. Talking to the moon.